we got here? You and me? He's gonna have all manner of fun. Oh, no, no, not this again. Where are you, Brent? Sounds like a party in there. Oh shit, no! He saw our special time! Uh, He'll tell on us! Uh, He'll uh, make Appreciate the help, buddy. I'll take it from here. Best we don't mention any of this on the paperwork. This is Officer Lewis. We have a suspect down. Repeat, suspect down. Requesting medical assistance. Over. of the cops. A little excessive, but I like your style. Things kicked in. Seriously, you saved my ass. Oh, you're the man, buddy. 
Oh, it's cool, man. My repo instincts kicked in. Oh, thank God. I thought I was dead for sure. I didn't even know where the hell we are. You couldn't give me a ride, could you? No, you can walk. <laughs> Only kidding. Too soon? Come on. This is a nightmare. I kept telling him it wasn't safe. I gotta make a call. That's my guy. Thank you, again. I won't forget this. First come, first serve. Man, these young cats is crazy, you know? Tickets for the most shameless tour in Minewood. Get them right here.
coming up to the infamous Tequila La Rock Bar. Back in the day, this was a restaurant run by the mob until it got shut down over the Adam's Apple in the Soup controversy of 1982. It reopened as the Tequila La Bar in 1983 and soon became a mecca for hair metal bands and fans from across the country. It's rumored that the love this song, Dangerous Bastards, was written about a night they party here on Mescaline. Now, this house up ahead is one of the many private residents of action movie director Mark Faustenberg. Faustenberg still maintains he was out of town when a 15-year-old Mexican girl was found dead in his pizza oven in 2007. The case was settled out of court and all charges were dropped. The girl's family now live on the next street. So, this is the house of television exercise guru The Craze. You might have seen him degrading himself recently on Rehab Island. Do any of you remember the 80s? I the strange a word to times. Say. People didn't go to the gym back then. They did jumping jacks in front of the TV in leg warmers and headbands. The craze swapped his gold lame leotard for a crack pipe in the 90s, but is reportedly now clean and in the best shape of his life. That's Vinewood's code for <laughs> he's trying to make a comeback. Joni Term, Martha spent her teens partying on booze, her early 20s partying on coke, and her mid-20s staring at her shoes on heroin. Her tell-all autobiography about the difficulties of growing up really rich in Vinewood only sold 30 copies last year. Just up ahead is another place to see and be seen in Rockford Hills, the Richmond Hotel. An iconic entertainment industry hangout, sleazy producer types have been promising to make young girl stars here for over a hundred years now. Not gonna lie, some shameful things in that lobby bar in my youth, but I put that period of my life behind me now. movies in history have premiered at this theater, including Blue Blood, Shoulder of Orion, and The Many Wives of Alfredo Smith. You might remember the controversial premiere of the gladiator comedy Lions and Donkeys in 1984, when star Chip Hampton walked up the red carpet with two slaves in chains.
mayor's office is, if any of you care. You might recognize this building from the 20-minute final dogfight to save Earth in the movie Invasion Los Santos. Oh, crap. 